So we're here on the second floor in the National Museum of Ireland, Collins Barracks, in the GAA People, Objects and Stories exhibition, which is now open to the public. It brings together a brand new array of objects, of images and of archival footage, some of which have never been on display to the public before. We have some new acquisitions into the collection and we hope everyone will enjoy it. The GA is present in many parts of Irish society, in our landscape, in public settings, in statues, in people wearing GAA clothes for fashion. It's in so many places that we don't even realise. It's on our television screens, on the radio, in literature, in plays. It's in many parts of our lives. So we have on loan from the military archives a hurl that was used by Michael Collins. He used it during his time in London. He spent some time there before he came home for the Irish Revolution. And he was involved in the Geraldine's GA Club, which is still in existence in London today. Brian Cody's cap, an iconic image of the GAA. He's the most successful manager in hurling history and part of his attire is his baseball cap which he swapped for a woolly hat during the winter so when Cody swapped over to the baseball cap you always knew that summer was coming soon. We have on display as well a tweed camogie dress that was worn by a woman called Maeve Gilroy and she was part of the successful Antrontine in the 1960s which stopped the Dublin camogie team from winning 11 in a row and Maeve went on to become a highly acclaimed uh, referee and coach. So we also have a display case that's all about the evolution of slitters, of hurling balls. So these date back to the 15th century, starting with hurling balls made of matted cow hair and horse hair that predate the establishment of the GA itself. Then moving on to the bigger and heavier leather slitters, we have the first yellow slitter that was used in the All-Ireland Final of 2020 between Limerick and Waterford and it's also the first All-Ireland final that was played behind closed doors.